Part 2 Many artists have concerns about sharing their work online. They have concerns about copyright and non-attribution. And many feel they can't control what happens once their work is published online. Have a look at this short film, The Stolen Scream. It's about an artist called Naomi Gali. See what happens when he uploads pictures of himself screaming on Facebook. This image of Che Guevara by Irish artist Mike Fitzpatrick is an example of how a piece of work can go global well before the internet age. It's important for all of us to understand the pros and cons of sharing our work online. In art history, as we all know, images have been appropriated and used for umpteen causes, often well beyond the initial intention of the artist. Now with the internet age, this can happen all the faster. But you can take a proactive approach and put images and work online specifically for people to use, download and share. By doing this, you can build up very favourable traffic to your website or blog by the links arising from your users' posts back to your website. Google loves backlinks. Try to get as many as you can. Make sure to provide attribution details for your images. Flickr is a great place to do this as millions of users search the site every day for content. Have a look at the Creative Commons licenses on Flickr and use which one suits your work best. You can also upload your work to professional sites used by designers and commercial artists. Sites like iStock Photo and Fotolio are really good. You're paid a small fee every time your work is downloaded. Something else you can try out. You can also track and trace where your images have been used online with a great resource called tinyeye.com. Simply upload your image file, for example, and hit search. TinyEye will then search the web for your image and show you where it's been used online. Then you can send the user an email asking them to link back to your website or blog. Ask them to mention you as the image creator and make sure to keep the email polite and friendly. We have done this in Spoiled Child and we've never had any problems. People are delighted to credit you and are really happy to do so. You can even go one step further if you wish and send the user an invoice for your image. Consider issuing a license fee for images. Your license fee could be good for a year or more, or if you wish, you could sell the image outright to the user for a set fee. A great online tool to look after your invoicing expenses and purchases is Xero.com. It's really simple to set up and really easy to use. It's a fantastic resource if you're a small arts organisation. All these examples demonstrate that sharing your work online can be really beneficial, raising your profile and growing your audience. And better still, you can get paid for it. In Spool Child, we actively share work online for these benefits. You can follow this strategy too, if you wish. This blog, EcoArt Notebook, is by my friend Cathy Fitzgerald. Cathy is a filmmaker focusing on art and ecology. She's using online media in a really exciting and informative way. Her blog contains links to her work, films she has made, articles she has written, and lots of ways for her audience to connect with her online. Cathy uses Facebook and Twitter really effectively as well. All updates from her blog are posted to these pages. At the moment, Cathy is working on her PhD in NCAD in Dublin. Recently, as part of her research, she published a paper called Networking the Arts to Save the Earth. Cathy wanted a way to share her research with the public. I suggested she put an excerpt on her blog with an invitation to download the full paper once the user submits their email address. The extract gave a flavour of what the paper contained and what the user was signing up for. As Cathy has built a large community around her, I felt it was a great opportunity. Links to the paper were posted on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn. The response to her work has been incredibly positive, with comments from all around the world. Now, among her community, Cathy counts some of the leading experts in art, ecology, climate change and sustainability among her friends. Her blog is now syndicated in the USA and Canada. 
Cathy is a genuine voice, and her commitment, creativity, and personality comes through all her interactions online. Engaging online is all about finding your own voice and being authentic. It's really important to remember that.